this morning. Yep, we got one of the Cardinals players up and out of bed early with us this morning. Say hi to Cardinals outfielder Tommy Pham. He's here along with a guy you might recognize, America's TV eye doctor, best-selling author, his eye doctor, Brian Boxer Wachler. Right? My doctor is Dr. Wachter, so I had to make sure I pronounced <laughs> that. Welcome to you both. Thanks for getting up early with us. We know you have a game later, yes. so we're here to talk about this condition called keratoconus which is a degenerative eye thing that you had taken care of. How did you know something was going on? Um, in, in, in 08, I had some vision issues. And um, after the season, uh, I saw an eye specialist and um, through all the tests ran, um, it was discovered that I had keratoconus. And from the Cardinals reaching out, you know, and, and Dr. Brian actually reached out to me, um, I, you know, I was lucky, you know, I, to come across somebody like him and along my journey. And this is a degenerative thing, so certainly I don't know if there's any way you could have prevented it. How are you doing now? How are you seeing things? How, more importantly, how are you seeing the ball? Uh, well, with my contacts on, you know, I only wear them while I, while I play. Uh -huh. um, with my contacts on, I'm, I'm fine. Um, I'm, I'm striking out a little bit this year, but I mean, that's a combination of my swing mostly rather than my good. <laughs> We're not going to judge you, okay? We are here to talk about this uh, condition. Doctor, how many people get this condition? Is it, a, is it a common thing? It's become much more common now. The old statistic used to be one in 2,000. Now it's one in 500. So it's four times more common than it used to be. How did you treat it in Tommy and others? I developed a non-invasive procedure that was revolutionary because it was the first time that we could non-invasively stop keratoconus from progressing. It's called Holcomb C3R, uh -huh. named after another athlete, Stephen Holcomb, who won a gold medal at the Winter Olympics in Vancouver. And we use a special application of vitamins combined with a special light. And what it does is actually strengthens the cornea, which is what's weak in keratoconus and it can stop it from progressing, and it does so non-invasively, which means it's just a one-day recovery, yeah. and that's what's truly revolutionary about the Holcomb C3R procedure. When you say non-invasively, I'm guessing a lot of folks would try, try to avoid uh, treatment because of invasive procedures in the eye. So when you say non-invasive, was that like, uh, did that make you feel better to hear that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, he told me I'll be able to come in and recover by the next day, so um, I mean, that sold me. Okay, good. Is there a chance it could come back in Tommy? It's extremely uncommon that someone needs more than one treatment. And the best news about Holcomb C3R for keratoconus is that it really helps people avoid the invasive cornea transplant because that's oftentimes recommended where they have to actually take the cornea off and put a cadaver cornea on and right. sew it. And that has long-term risks too for the rest of people's lives. So there's a big peace of mind knowing, and like Tommy knowing, that he's not gonna need a cornea transplant down the road. Wow, that is pretty amazing stuff. Thanks for coming in. We really appreciate you getting up. I know, I mean, you're in the midst of a really, really important time for the Cardinals. Doctor, thank you. We will be sure to follow you on your website. And